Just tonight, the High Court has heard concerns that cash from money laundering may have helped fund Blackpool Football Club. It's been alleged that money from the proceeds of crime may have passed through a bank which is owned by the club's president, Valerie Bellacon. He denies the claims, as Rebecca Pucchiello reports. Fan unrest, controversy and a fractured club has been the backdrop to another disappointing season for Blackpool. The bitterness at the club has now spilled into the law courts with owners the Oyston family engaged in a heated dispute with club president Valeri Belicon, who owns an international bank in Latvia. That bank was recently fined more than £780,000 for repeated violations of money laundering rules and transactions that subjected the bank to a significant money laundering risk. With that, the Oystons allege he could have put some of that laundered money into the club, saying that the funds put in by Bellicon one way or another were the proceeds of crime, or probably the proceeds of crime. This suggestion has been opposed by the Bellicon side, saying they're making wild and extremely serious allegations, which they've responded to in a detailed letter, setting out precisely the source of the funds involved. Now, in addition, Bellicon's company is pursuing a claim of unfair prejudice against the Oystons and accusing them of stripping the seasiders of funds. Owen has, in essence, done a lot for the club in over 25 years. And I think what he really wanted was for his son, Carl, to continue to manage the club. And they would form some kind of dynasty of family members running the club. But it seems that he's taken over the love for money and not for the club. The court registrar told both parties that there was an element of grandstanding and that if they were going to take this anywhere, they should get on and do it. The hearing continues. Rebecca Bacchiello, BBC Northwest Tonight, Blackpool.